Hello, everybody, and a very warm welcome to this live stream. I'm so happy to see so many people tuning in, and, and I'm very, very happy to have this live stream because I've got a very special guest with me, uh, Martijn van Helvert. Uh, he is a Dutch member of parliament for the Christian Democratic uh, Alliance, I think. I'm not sure how to say it in English. But, uh, the Christian Democratic Appeal. Appeal, Christian Democratic Appeal. Thank you very much for coming on, uh, Martin. Yeah, thanks for the invitation. Great uh, to be in your show. So today, um, I just made a video earlier today talking about the motion that you um, laid to Parliament today about two things. Firstly, expropriation without compensation in South Africa. Yeah. Um, and that the Dutch Parliament should, you know, speak out against it and, uh, um, and go... Uh, you know, my, uh, and uh, appeal to the government of South Africa to stop it. Yeah. And the other one is about farm murders, is to set an inter international investigation yeah. on farm murders in South Africa. Um, so how did that go? Um, well, I will uh, tell you that uh, immediately, uh, sometimes you can hear uh, a bell ringing, that's because I'm in the parliament uh, right now, and today is the last um, day that we are together before we go on reset in summer. So we have a lot of short uh, debates and every time when a debate stops you hear a bell like you did uh, um, uh, a few seconds ago so don't bother there's no fire alarm here it's just the start of another uh, debate uh, well uh, two resolutions today yeah, thank you i saw also your uh, your video thank you so much uh, for that explanation um, uh, the first uh, resolution about um, uh, saying to south africa this uh, is not good you're going uh, way too far uh, with uh, this kind of things by um, um, uh, taking someone, uh, someone's um, land from them without compensation. Uh, we cannot tolerate that. That's also against human rights. Uh, and we have to stand for that. Uh, and that's uh, sometimes harsh for people in the Netherlands because especially the Netherlands has a, a history with South Africa that we are not really proud of here in the Netherlands. But I think that is that is not something that should keep us away from doing the right thing and standing for these farmers who are murdered, tortured and, um, and uh, what's the English word? Depropriated? No? Uh, expropriated. expropriated. Sorry. Expropriated. Uh, that's, um, well, I think uh, we, should, we should stand also for those farmers. Well, uh, we, we both struggle the same with English, it seems. Um, tell me, you and I started talking about farm murders in August last year already. So yeah. this has been a personal, a personal uh, thing for you for a long time. How did you find out about these things going on in South Africa? Well, uh, actually, I uh, I think from two thousand three till two thousand eight, I was a history teacher at uh, at a high school in Sittard. That's the place where I, I live with my wife and kids. Uh, and then, oh, I have to uh, put something away on my telephone. Yeah, there I again. Um, I was a history, history teacher, and a student from that time uh, moved. Uh, to South Africa, married also in South Africa, and uh, he always we always kept uh, contact. And he brought me uh, in contact also with, uh, for instance, Afri Forum, uh, which is uh, active uh, for, uh, but also with uh, with um, victims of um, plas murder. And uh, that uh, and he explained me uh, how that situation was and how terrible it also was, not only for the farmers and their families, but also for the uh, for south africa as a whole because the whole uh, economy of south africa uh, declines because of uh, it, um, uh, holding back from uh, from white people who can contribute to the country and uh, when you kill them or when you um, expel them from the land they can't contribute anymore and you can, can find that and you can see that in the figures of the economy of south africa and he told me, so I thought I will have to do something about it because I also, uh, and, but what I, I, I noticed that actually in the Netherlands, hardly anyone is interested in this problem. So I tried to find some links to the Netherlands to get people interested here. And uh, then I saw that a lot of uh, white farmers have Dutch roots and sometimes even Dutch passports. Well, and then mm. some, somebody, some, some people also in some papers in the Netherlands are starting to get interested, but it's uh, it's it's very 
uh, sad that that's necessary to get people interested, but it is. Right, so you had two motions that you laid before Parliament today. The first one was against expropriation without compensation in South Africa, and yeah. it was passed. Uh, tell us what exactly the, that motion entails and what is the Dutch government going to do now, now that they passed your motion? So. Yeah, uh, well, uh, that first motion said uh, expropriating, uh, we have to, uh, in bilateral contacts between South Africa and they are there, so when minister pro ministers from our country are uh, visiting South Africa or seeing each other on international congresses or diplomats seeing each other or mailing or phoning each other that day, we'll talk about it and say, hey, uh, we think that you're going way too far over there and that it's not um, a conform, a conform the the human rights, uh, and also in multilateral uh, contexts, for instance, the uh, United Nations or when the European Union together uh, um, holds contacts with uh, South Africa, that are all moments where we can talk to South Africa and say, hey, in our opinion, you're going way too far. Uh, and that is what that re re excuse me, resolution uh, said and still is saying. And it was broadly adopted today in the parliament. So. Our government now will, if they have the opportunity, uh, talk to South Africa about this uh, topic, say what we are thinking about it, and also deliver uh, a, a, a report of that to the parliament. So I can ask again questions about our minister about it. It's interesting that you say that uh, your government is going to tell the South African government that they went too far now. Um, tell me, are you guys in the Netherlands aware of the more than 100 racial laws that, it, that the, uh, the ANC government has passed that is keeping young white people like myself from, from applying for certain jobs or from getting certain jobs, as well as uh, forcing corporations to have a certain share of black ownership and so on and so forth? Um, why I ask this is because for myself, I have been born long after apartheid has ended, six years after apartheid has ended. And I still face these laws. Um, is the Dutch government aware of these laws and what are their opinion on this? Well, I don't think they are enough aware. Maybe, maybe they know it somewhere or they read, but we are in the Netherlands. Also, the government not aware enough. Um, uh, I think two weeks ago I spoke um, a person, they were on holiday, man and wife, and he was a, a, a director of, of a boarding school, uh, uh, um, we say lower uh, school, but it's, it's the boarding school, is that the right word in English, where kids are going to school, the small kids? Uh, if they go and live in the hostel, that's a boarding uh, school, yes. Otherwise, right, yeah. primary Sorry, school primary, is where the young kids uh, go to school. Terrible, I know, but primary school, that's yeah. Mine too. <laughs> direct from primary school, and he told me that he um, was obliged to um, to hire um, uh, black teachers who weren't uh, enough uh, uh, well thought in uh, as a teacher, and that he had to fire uh, uh, white um, teachers who were well educated, and that was really a problem in uh, the school, and the quality of the school was uh, declining. Uh, through that um, measures he had to take. Uh, and that are things uh, that we don't know. In the Netherlands, we think, oh, South Africa is beautiful and you have, can have a beautiful holiday in South Africa and you really have to be there. You have to see a big elephant and a big five. Everybody loves South Africa. But I don't think that um, many people uh, know how really the situation is for the people in South Africa. The second motion that you uh, brought to Parliament today was the one on farm murders in South Africa and your appeal for the international community to uh, have an investigation on farm murders in South Africa. It yeah. was unfortunately not passed. Can you tell us what uh, what exactly that entailed and why you think it was not passed? Or, and is there any hope in the future for getting this particular motion of yours passed? Yeah, uh, that is true. Yesterday I had a debate and today was uh, the voting about the resolutions. I, in the debate, I said to our Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mr. Block, I said, I really think there has to be an international uh, investigation in the situation about the class murder, the murdering, torturing and expropriating uh, white farmers um, because they can't handle it themselves. The government is doing nothing about it, actually. Uh, in my opinion. And uh, then Mr. Block says, no, it's um, uh, South Africa as a state should solve that, that itself. Uh, justice in South Africa 
judges in South Africa, the police in South Africa, and um, the government should solve that problem themselves. And that's not something that we do from outside. I said, I said yes, normally a, a state uh, um, uh, where justice and law is ruling, uh, they can do it themselves. But I've got a, a broad idea that, and a, a, a documented idea, that uh, South Africa is doing nothing about these crimes. Uh, and mm. therefore, uh, an international investigation is needed. No, he said not. Uh, to, uh, therefore, I made a resolution. I thought then the parliament can say, well, minister, maybe you don't think so, but we do. But then, uh, in, yeah, as a surprise, the Liberal Party, the VVD, in the Netherlands, the largest party, didn't support the resolution. And that was a surprise because I don't think we differ a lot uh, with the liberals uh, about this uh, topic and this subject, but they mm. didn't support it. And uh, uh, immediately, uh, it, it's maybe because it's their own minister uh, for foreign affairs, Mr. Block uh, is their own minister, is a minister from the, from the liberals. And he said, no, let's not do that. But um, it's, it's actually special because this is also something that the liberals uh, could, uh, could support. And immediately after that, some of the <laughs> parliamentarians said to me, oh, I don't know why we didn't support that. And uh, on the Internet, on Twitter, um, so many um, questions about can the liberals explain why they didn't support the resolution of uh, Mr. Van Helvert. I always, of course, also have to say uh, also the party from uh, Kees van der Staaij, the S. GP in the Netherlands, uh, a Christian uh, party, small Christian party, three seats in uh, the parliament, also signed my resolution. So I dropped the resolution together with Mr. Van der Staaij, I have to say. But uh, they have to really have to explain why they don't uh, support that. And in the uh, next um, debate where I have the chance again to bring up the topic, I will uh, discuss it again. And there will be another resolution, and I'm uh, sure that the Liberals will not again uh, uh, vote like this. Did they give you a specific reason uh, why they didn't support this motion? Uh, well, uh, uh, the reason is, as they say, that their minister said that South Africa should solve it themselves, and that they should mm. not intervene in this um, interior uh, problem. Uh, what, of course, is a very legitimate uh, argument if uh, a country um, and the justice in a country and the laws in a country uh, work uh, appropriate. But I think on this matter, the government in South Africa is doing nothing and uh, the killing um, goes on. That's very it's terrible for the farmers and their families, but also terrible for South Africa as a country. Tell me, uh, earlier you, today you told me that some of these liberals said that far murders is a problem uh, that is already sorted out. It's something that is history in South Africa, but it's not happening anymore. Yeah. Um, is that part of the debate resolved or are there still people on the left or in the Liberal Party in the Netherlands who believe that? Well, I don't think that in the Liberal Party that is thought of. Actually, we also have a left Liberal Party. I think in that party, that's D66. Mm. Uh, that's a left liberal party and I think in that party the idea of well it's a little bit extreme right topic and it was maybe a few years ago but now uh, 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 the, the, and then, then they say um, uh, Martin you use figures that are far too uh, sky high in, uh, when I compare it with the truth and um, you're, you're exaggerating everything uh, that is uh, on the left side of the political uh, spectrum it, that's an idea that's broadly because I uh, receive, of course, also from South Africa, many tweets from people who say, thank you very much that you bring it up. But I also mm. from the Netherlands, from the left side, I get many reactions from, oh, why are you extreme right at this moment? You were always center and what are you doing? Uh, but you also saw in my uh, short video that I made about the topic, I said, I know this um, problem is uh, misused by extreme right for ventilating their uh, um, racistic um, ideas. But uh, that's the reason why some politicians don't dare to come up for these farmers. And I say that's terrible for the farmers and the families because that don't make their problem smaller, even bigger. So therefore, I still come up also for these farmers. Of course, this shouldn't be a partisan issue. Like, for example, when Donald Trump spoke out about farm murders, 
um, of course, we know he's from the right-leaning party, the Republican Party in America, yeah. and everyone from the left-leaning party attacked him and called him a racist for it. But uh, it shouldn't be a, a partisan issue. I mean, it should be a humanitarian issue. It should be a decent yeah. human being issue because it doesn't yeah. matter where, whether it is, you know, black people killing white people. Yeah. Um, it's still not a good thing, even though it might not be politically correct to talk about it. No, that's true. And, uh, and of course, also many people say, but there are so many uh, black people in South Africa that all, uh, also suffer violence. And, uh, and uh, that, well, I, uh, I will recognize directly that there is more suffering in South Africa than only these white farmers. But the problem is that these white farmers are being killed and tortured uh, because they are white. I think. And that's a problem that we uh, cannot um, uh, accept, and that's the reason why I, uh, as spokesman of foreign affairs, defense, and human rights in the Netherlands, that's why I uh, will speak out on this matter. And that is has nothing to do with if you're left or right, or extreme right or extreme left. I'm from a center party who acts from from out of the center, and uh, I uh, see that this is happening. And of course, there is a lot of violence in all over the world, but I uh, see this as a, a large problem for the country, South Africa, who is mm. up from a terrible history, or also the Netherlands, uh, have uh, very black pages in their history books made by ourselves, uh, but that must not stop us from doing the right things now also in uh, South Africa. Well, it's just the racial um, side of the attacks in South Africa is something that you cannot ignore. And uh, there are so many people who can give testimonies about it. For example, um, a recent murder less than a month ago in a rural area, uh, there was a, a guy and his uh, lady friend driving mm. and they were attacked and the attackers actually shouted Mlungu, which is uh, used as a racial slur by black people against white people before they shot and killed these people. And I believe there are also a lot of... Um, people like myself who can give testimonies whose families went through mm. uh, farm attacks like these um my family did a lot of other people as well who is willing to speak out about it mm. um do you think there's maybe a maybe it will help you in the next debate about farm murders if there's a lot of south africans who actually make testimony videos that they can send to the Dutch government and that you can use in your next debate? Uh, yeah, of course. Uh, information is uh, very important. And I really should ask, um, uh, uh, I would ask uh, if there are uh, videos who show what's happening. So if, uh, I'm, because I understand that some people are get very angry, especially on black people in this matter. But let's try not to make it ourselves a racist thing. If others do that by killing white farmers because they're white, uh, we may not be angry at those people because they are black. We must be angry at those people because they kill somebody or of course torturing some. So that kind of videos that you show, this is not uh, extreme right topic, but this is a human rights topic, not extreme right, but human right topic. Uh, that's that is something that uh, should help me because I'm placed now uh, by uh, the left wing of the parliament in the extreme right group because I uh, stand strong for uh, those um, uh, farmers who are killed because they are white. Uh, it's in the Netherlands even uh, that I call the farmers white. They say, oh, you're a racist because you call those farmers white. Uh, white. Yeah, I, I say sorry, but I don't uh, can make another color out of it. That's just how we are uh, made uh, by our Lord. Uh, you're just cutting out a little bit here on my side. I didn't hear the last few words that you said. I don't know if the people uh, watching this video also uh, heard it like that. But can you maybe just repeat that last sentence or so? Uh, the uh, last sentence I said, it is, so please make, uh, uh, in the last sentence I said about um, the thing that uh, in the Netherlands, uh, I'm uh, declared as a, uh, by, by the left wing of our parliament as an extreme right and also by Twitter from people uh, because I call the farmers white. They say, oh, you call them white, so you're a racist. And then I say, yeah, I can make uh, another color from it. Uh, but uh, that's how they are, uh, how we are made by our Lord. And that's white. And that's the reason why they are killed. So that doesn't make me a racist, but maybe it says something about the one uh, who uh, murdered the farmer. But um, I say, let's, let we make 
uh, movie statements, uh, share information to the Netherlands about the facts about the human rights that are violated, not about the fact that uh, the people who kill are black people. No, that only moves that people who kill, that they are killing and that they are torturing and that they are um, uh, not uh, keeping up the human rights of everybody in South Africa. This, such information I really can use. Well, I'll definitely, I'm going to make a video about this whole thing tomorrow as well and about the motion that was passed and the one that wasn't passed. So in that video, I'll also tell people that uh, they can make these videos, but uh, to whom do they send them? Can they use Twitter? Can they uh, um, tag you in them or how, how will we make sure that they'll, that they'll get to you? Yeah, uh, please. I, I I love to be tagged. Um, that's on uh, Twitter. That's uh, at uh, Martijn. It's uh, Dutch written Martijn uh, with a, a long uh, with an E and a E. I'm, how do I say it in English? Uh, Martijn CDA. That's my Twitter name. And on Facebook, it's uh, Martijn van Helvert, my full name. And uh, on Instagram, it's also Martijn van Helvert, my full name. All right, I am quickly going in to uh, share my screen here so that, uh, so that people can see where they can find you. Let me just yeah. find that here. All right, screen share. All right, I'm sharing now. And um, let me just quickly find, the, find your profile here. Yeah. All right. So as you as you can see on the screen right now, that is Mr. Martin van Helvert's uh, yeah. Twitter profile, and that is his that's, um, that's his handle there, Martin CDA. And then if yeah. you want to make a video like this, you can uh, put it on Twitter and tag him in there. And also, you said on Facebook. Let me quickly find you on on, on Facebook so people can can see that as well. Uh, let's give it a second. And then make and sure have my page. I've got an account. Yeah, that's my page. Yeah, very, very that's your page, yes. And yeah. that is Martijn van Helvert. And uh, as you can see there, uh, it's just the full name spelled out. Martijn van Helvert or van Helvert is the handle there. Thank you very much for that, uh, Martijn. Um, and I, I can't tell you enough how much uh, people appreciate what you have done for us in the parliament and what you're still doing for us in the parliament. Um, as a last question, do you think there's a, do you have a lot of hope for passing this motion at a later stage um, about the farm murders and about the international investigation into farm murders? And if so, when do you think will it happen? Yeah, uh, I really uh, think that uh, we can uh, have a new uh, resolution passed because I think also the Liberal Party uh, actually uh, thinks that uh, that is the right thing uh, to do. Uh, and that they made a little mistake. Uh, and I will, when we have a, a next debate, that will be, I think, in uh, somewhere in September, uh, we will um, somewhere drop a new resolution, and then I will make sure we have a majority in the in the parliament uh, about that. All right. Thank you very much for that. Um, I'm just going to give you a, a. I'm just going to give the audience some time to ask a few questions, and then I'll ask them to you. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, if you're okay with that, and then we can yeah, finish of that off. Um, yeah. Someone asked if you if you and I can speak a bit of Dutch. My, my Dutch is not good enough so that I'm going to try and speak it, but uh, I'll speak a bit of Afrikaans so people can hear it and yeah. see how, how close it is to each other. So I go from the Van Helvert vooral om a bit Nederlands to praat, and I praat a bit Afrikaans. I think the most of the people who Na hierdie video kyk is in elk geval Afrikaans maak het om maar Engels gehou so dat almal in die wêreld kan verstaan en sien wat gebeur het. Ja, yeah, ja. Uh, yeah, did yeah. you just understand what I said there? Nou, oh, ik ik versta het en uh, ik versta het een heel klein beetje. Uh, want het klinkt wel nog heel erg Nederlands. Alleen uh, het lijkt voor mij uh, als ik de, jou dus nu hoor spreken, lijkt het voor mij alsof je de woorden helemaal niet afmaakt. Dus het klinkt heel grappig. Uh, het, het, een heel grappig taaltje is het eigenlijk. Uh, maar goed, ik woon, kijk, Nederland is heel klein. Ik woon in het zuiden van Nederland. Uh, dus eigenlijk heel dicht bij België en Frankrijk. En ook heel dicht tegen de Duitse grens aan. Ik woon één kilometer van de Duitse grens. En vier kilometer van de Belgische grens. Uh, en dus uh, de manier hoe ik spreek, Nederlands spreek, zoals ik nu tegen jou spreek, dat vinden ze hier in het parlement ook heel erg raar. Want dat is echt een beetje een, met een Limburgs accent. Met een wat zachtere G en niet zo'n keiharde R die de Nederlanders wel kunnen maken. Ja, maar leuk om te horen.
I understood every single word you just said there. Uh, oh. Some questions has, have, have come in here. Um, uh, one person asks, uh, who is the CDA? That's your party. You guys are the, the uh, you are seen as a centrist party in the Netherlands. Yeah. Um, in the European Union, who are your um, allies uh, in other countries, specifically countries like Germany and Belgium? We are from the EPP, the European People's Party. Uh, and mm -hmm. uh, that's the CDU, uh, uh, CSU uh, in, um, uh, in Germany, for instance, and the CDNV in, uh, in Belgium, uh, the Christian Democrats in Sweden, uh, also the, um, who's also in, uh, in Italy, uh, the, from, um, uh, how is it, um, from Mr. Berlusconi once, that party is also in the EPP. We sometimes have to fight with our colleagues in the EPP. We do not always agree. Uh, the Partido Popular uh, in Spain. Uh, and even uh, Mr. Orban from uh, Hungary is uh, a member of the EPP. But there we, oh, have, okay. we have some uh, differences. Because uh, uh, the, the, yeah, yeah, the, the way he sometimes he acts is not really how we think we should work together in Europe. But that sometimes you have some fights in a good family. And uh, after a few years, that will, will uh, sal recht komen. Um, another question, Mr. Thierry Baudet from the uh, Forum for Democracy Party in the Netherlands mentioned on Twitter that he would fight for a right for Afrikaners to return to the Netherlands, seen as they have uh, Dutch roots. Tell me, uh, is there currently something like that, the right to return in the Netherlands, and do you think there's a possi possibly, uh, sorry, possibly something like that in the future? Yeah, I also read that in a newspaper that he said that. He has never said something about it in the parliament. So uh, I, we're still waiting for his first uh, uh, action over there. Um, but, um, uh, well, let's see. Is if people have a Dutch passport, of course, they always uh, can, uh, can come back. Um, if we have, can, can uh, come to let everybody come to the Netherlands, I don't know if that's a solution because uh, what we see that in the Netherlands itself is actually hardly room for farmers anymore. Mm. Uh, we're a very small country and we are, you see that in the Netherlands farmers all are trying to leave the Netherlands for, for America or South America or sometimes in Africa or in, in the Eastern Europe to find some uh, land. So uh, we can promise you can come back, but we don't have any room for uh, new farmers in, uh, in the Netherlands. Well, not all Afrikaners are farmers, of course. <laughs> no, but uh, about no, I know. But uh, when we have the blast, the most of the blast mortar are mm. the uh, white farmers who are killed, and that are the first where we what we were uh, thinking of. But of that, course, that, that, that I think that's not a solution. That's only nice for a few people who can come to the Netherlands. Then we have to help South Africa solve the problem. Because I agree, I agree all heartedly with you. I think the idea that uh, everyone should just leave is is uh, uh, it's a ridiculous idea in the first place. Fleeing is not an option uh, to solve a problem. Solving a problem mm. is, uh, is uh, saying, hey, South Africa, this is not good what you're doing. All right. Um, there's another question. Are you aware of the, of the comments made by people like Julius Malema? Julius Malema saying things like he's not calling for uh, the slaughter of all white people yet and that he is willing to take up arms to fight for the land was one of the most recent things. And... Um, and so on and so forth. And these things are just being accepted by the ANC government. In fact, the ANC government is in alliance with the EFF on the land issue. And then also we have other people like Antilem Zitama, another politician who said that he is he wanted to kill all white people, um, including their wives, their children, even their pets, their cats and their dogs. Also, the governing ANC party does nothing about this. Um, they don't explicitly endorse it, but they don't they don't reject it either. Um, yeah. Are you guys aware of these things in the Dutch Parliament? And uh, do you think this might be these political incitement might be why we have so much farm murders in this country? Yeah, uh, I uh, I think uh, one and a half year ago I asked uh, questions about I don't actually I cannot repeat his name anymore. He is a leader of the opposition in that times. So I think from a left party, you also said. Um, uh, there aren't um, uh, we can't of we understand that they are killing white farmers, something like that. He said, uh, and then I also ask questions about it uh, in the Netherlands. But I see that the awareness of that is uh, very small. But I should uh, want to say a 
we're here from far away in the Netherlands, so it's, it's easy to speak for me, but uh, please, people, keep all way. If you're left, right, center, black, white, whatever what color you have, to keep away from uh, fighting and uh, revenge fighting. That is not an option. Uh, it maybe feels good for a few seconds, and then uh, we are we all regret it for the rest of uh, of our lives. And we really have to make another solution about it. But I think the international community really should help South Africa, but because I see that the government can solve it uh, themselves in South Africa at this moment. Uh, here's another question. The Dutch were very vocal about injustices under apartheid, but why are they very cautious now about the current injustices happening in South Africa? Are you there? Can you hear me, uh, Martijn? Uh, it looks like I've lost Mr. Van Helvert. <laughs> um, let me just see if I if I can uh, find him again on the stream. Otherwise, I think we'll we'll call it a, a stream and um, f finish it off. Nope. Looks like looks like this the stream is done. Thank you very much, guys, for watching. Unfortunately, we've lost uh, uh, connection with Mr. Van Helvet. But um, I think we, we answered most of the questions that we wanted to hear. And it was a brilliant stream. I enjoyed it a lot. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. So um, thank you guys for watching. And also be sure to share this. And uh, we'll talk to you later. We'll make a video about what happened and a short, concise video about what happened in the Dutch Parliament. And also what uh, Mr. Van Albert said, we should do about it uh, in the future that will help him to pass this motion. But thanks everyone who watched and be sure to share this video all around. And um, just, uh, I heard that my voice sounded a bit weird. Maybe there's something wrong with my microphone. I'll get that checked out right now. But um, thanks for watching. Goodbye and God bless all of you.